Well, welcome back to another video, guys. Uh, today we're going to be talking about my two-year ownership with my 2021 Rogue Glide. We are now in October 28th of 2023, so I've had the bike for a little bit over two years right now. I should have done this video right when I hit two years, but yeah, we're doing it now. So we'll do a quick little walkthrough of the bike show you guys some of the mods that it has on it then we'll get on the road and we'll start talking about everything else um so obviously right here we got the baja lights in the front we got that black camo carbon fiber front fender we also got the matching rear fender right here from black widow creations um if you guys want to get any carbon parts i think my promo code might be good for another week maybe 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 two weeks, who knows? Um, so if you want to get some carbon parts, get them right now while you can use my promo code and you can save yourself some money. Um, we got the bags from Avon Black. Obviously, these uh, this bike comes with stretch bags. So we changed these for the short bags. I wanted to do the 201 Chrome Works. Uh, sounds amazing. Ruby Feeney floorboards. Passenger pegs as well. Stage two in this thing. Sounds great. Performs well. We get the Santoro crash bar in the back. We got the Empire Collection mirrors, heater grips, RLNS setup. Uh, love this setup right here. We're actually heading over to Mike's right now. Duffy just got the same one. He got his in all chrome for his bike. That thing looks killer, man. It looks really, really good. We also have the Lapera tail whip seat, which I love to see right here. Different textures, different materials. It just feels great. We got the uh, Screaming Eagle and Olin's suspension in the rear. Um, I'll, I've said it before and, I've, and I'll say it again. I'm still shopping around for the front suspension. I don't know what I'm going to go with yet, but soon enough we'll decide and we're going to be popping those up on there. Um, Clockworks windshield in the front with the orange. Yes, this bike has orange. Guys, this is an orange tint. Uh, pinstripe line that separates the red from the black right there. That's why it has orange if you're going to ask. Uh, what else? Did I miss anything? A few little things here and there. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get on the road and finish talking about it. First, we'll let you guys hear the bike. This pipe sounds absolutely great, man. Amazing. Two in one chrome works. The lights right here in the back are from Custom Dynamics, in case you guys are wondering. Also, for everyone who keeps asking about the plate, where does the plate go? There's going to be a plate holder that I'm going to be getting soon that gets hooked up right here and yeah, the plate will be right here. Alright, so I've had the bike for a little bit over two years right now, like I was saying. Um, I haven't had any issues whatsoever with the bike at all. We currently have 8,200 miles on it, 8,228 to be exact. It would have been more miles, but during the time when I bought the bike, I still had the uh, Lowrider S, then I had the FXR. So I was putting a lot of seat time on those bikes, especially the Lowrider S. <laughs> but yeah, no issues whatsoever, no leaks. Uh, nothing has broken, no seals, no crack seals, no problems with the engine. Um, my low rider S, unfortunately, the motor blew on that. Crack cylinder, um, yeah, that, 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 that was a big issue. But this one, nothing, and knock on wood, or... Damn, can, can somebody knock on wood for me right now? Hopefully nothing goes wrong with the bike whatsoever. I got the 1,000 uh, mile service on the bike. Obviously when uh, it had 1,000 miles. Then I got it uh, reserviced again when we did the cam the first time when we did the Screaming Eagle cam. Then I got it reserviced again when we went ahead and we changed out the Screaming Eagle cam for 
the fueling reaper cam that I have in the bike right now. Um, and then over the winter time, we're going to see what we're going to be doing. We might be doing some motor work. We might not. But if so, then we'll resurface the bike then again during that time. Basically, all the money that's been going into the bike is obviously paying off the bike. Yes, I'm still paying off the bike. I make my monthly payments because I ain't rich. Um, and then obviously, most of the money goes to parts and accessories and modifications, just like, you know, we, we, we all do. We all spend our hard-earned cash to make our bikes look special, different, add our, our touch to it. And um, that, that's just part of the culture, part of the, the Harley lifestyle, customizing your bike. Um, but overall, no issues whatsoever. Literally nothing. I, I've been... I, I, I could say that I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a happy buyer at the moment. I'm happy with the product that I have purchased. I'm a happy consumer so far. There was a few people having uh, quite a few issues, like the one that I had on my Lowrider S um, from the 2021 models, 2020 models, um, even 2022 models. Not a lot, just a few here and there. And then I was scared. After that happened to the Lowrider S, I was like, I hope it doesn't happen to this bike. But um, we're well over the, the mileage that I had on the Lowrider on this one. And no issues. So um, I'm happy. This bike did get a few upgrades though when we did the uh, fueling cam. Um, we did do the uh, strengthening kit on top from fueling as well. Um, obviously the oil pump, plate everything is from fueling all parts are from fueling but the bike has been performing great it sounds great <laughs> I just love the sound of that pipe My biggest gripe with the bike right now is just the front suspension and the more I ride my buddy's bikes that have suspensions, the more I want to get mine done. So that's, uh, that's the only thing right now that I'm like very eager to change out. Might I add, we have a beautiful day out here in dirty Jersey today. Look at this, blue skies, clear skies. High of 81 degrees and it's October 28th. Unheard of. It's great. The uh, the bike gods are smiling down at us for sure, man. But anyways, that's gonna be it, guys. I wanna just make this video just to touch base, let you guys know where I'm at with the bike. We're at 8,000 miles, a little over two years owning the bike. No issues whatsoever. I'm a super happy customer. Um, we still have tons and tons of plans for the bike, modifications, and other stuff coming down the pipeline as well so if that's what you want to watch you're definitely in the right place and if you're not yet subscribed go ahead subscribe hit that bell button that's going to notify you anytime i upload any type of new content i'm going to keep enjoying the rest of my day right here i'm going to catch you guys in the next one like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace